everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April and if you're new here, I make sewing and DIY fashion videos every week. So make sure you hit that subscribe and notifications bell so you never miss out on a new video. This week, I'm challenging myself to drape a dress without the help of my dress form. I know a lot of you don't have a dress form to use at home, so you're curious to see how I'm gonna do it. So let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm gonna treat this the same as I would draping on my dress form. That means using some muslin fabric to make your markings on and wear a tight fitted shirt or dress. Or you can also just be naked. I decided to demonstrate draping a sweetheart bodice. So I first cut my muslin into sections that will cover the center front, side front, side back, and center back. On a professional dress form, there are seams that split the body into sections. So the form is split in half and the princess seam divides the shoulder in half and goes down to the apex and straight down to the waist. These lines will help you create accurate markings and help match up the next piece you're draping. Since I'm draping it on myself, I realized I would need to add these lines onto my own body so I can remember where to drape each section. The tape I'm using is just whiteboard tape. I'll link it below for anyone interested. It's definitely very challenging because I'm doing this on myself, so the lines are not straight. And I feel like if you're gonna tape these lines on an actual person over and over again, you might as well invest in an actual dress form or make yourself a duct tape one. I taped the center front, princess seam, side seam, and attempted to tape the back side as well. Then I taped the sweetheart shape. Also tape your waistline. Now we can drape each muslin piece starting with the center front. I was going to pin the fabric down to the dress, but the dress would move if I pull it, making my markings inaccurate. So I just made sure to hold it in place and keep the center lined up. To mark the lines, I can sort of see the red tape through the fabric and just do my best to transfer the markings. Make sure to also mark your apex. Line up the next piece of muslin over the side front and do your best to transfer the markings again, including the apex. Once I got to the side back, it was impossible to mark it on myself. So to anyone trying to drape without a dress form, just keep that in mind. I will show you how I drafted the backside without using a dress form, so keep watching. With the two front bodice pieces I was able to drape, I lay them flat and true up my markings with a design ruler. Then I went ahead and added seam allowance, cut the pieces out, and we'll be sewing the front bodice pieces together to see how it fits. And it's not bad. I did a pretty good job at draping it on myself, but I do have a lot of experience. The only adjustment I need to make is extending that waistline a little lower. Now transfer the finalized pieces onto paper. Once I have two front bodice pieces made, I decided to create my dress out of this thrifted bed sheet I found a while back. Cut out two center front bodices and four side front bodice pieces. There should be enough pieces to create two bodice layers. Then sew the side front pieces to the center front. Okay, so to create the backside, I sewed a piece of muslin to the side seam and continued the markings along the top and bottom.
This one back section actually covers my entire back, so I won't be creating a princess seam. To mark the center back, I just place a fingernail at the spot and take it off to mark. True up your markings and transfer your pattern onto paper. Next, cut out four back pieces from your fabric and attach them to the side seams. A simple skirt that needs no draping is a gathered skirt. So I cut two pieces from the bed sheet at the length I want and the width of it should be at least twice your waist measurement. Take one of the skirt pieces and I split it in half again to create a center back seam. Then attach the skirt together at the side seams. Afterwards, sew two rows of basting stitch along the top and gather the waist of the skirt. To create straps for the bodice, cut a long piece of fabric that is two and a quarter inch wide and press the raw edges inside. Then top stitch the open side closed. Decide where your straps will be placed and mark the bodice. I created four separate straps that will tie at the shoulders Sandwich them in between the two bodice layers and sew along the top. Next, evenly pin the skirt to the bodice and sew them right sides together. I wanted to have straps that tied at the shoulders, but they weren't sitting nicely, so I decided to just have them tie at the front. Trim them to your desired length and hem the edges. Before closing up the back of the dress, I created some large pockets, pleated the middle, and attached them to the sides of the skirt. Once the pockets are on, I can now sew in the zipper. Mark the bottom of the zipper tape, so the center back closed, and then you can sew in the zipper. This tiny strip of fabric was the original ruffled part of the bedsheet that I removed earlier. I regathered it and will be sewing it to the waist of the dress to create a little peplum.
Lastly, hem the bottom of the skirt and I'm finished. Here is my final no dress form involved creation. Draping a bodice without a dress form is possible, but it really depends on your design. Like if you have a unique back design, you won't be able to drape it on yourself. Though I would rather just buy paper patterns and alter it into a new design. Because I still had fabric left over, I decided to make a matching face mask to go along with the dress. If you're following me on my Instagram story, you know I've been making a bunch of face masks and demonstrating how to make your own for those that want to help donate any mask to hospitals or nursing homes. I also wrote a blog post on my website sharing four awesome face mask tutorials that I learned from. So check the links in my description box for more information. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more DIY fashion and I'll see you next time. Bye!